Myopia is a major cause of ocular morbidity for school children and especially for ethnic Chinese. But there is so far no clinically acceptable method to control the prevalence and progression of myopia. In view of this problem, optometry researchers of PolyU have been looking for a new method to control the progression of myopia. Winning the grand prize and gold medal at the 39th International Exhibition of Inventions of Geneva, the invention of this lens by a research team led by Professor Tochi Ho and Professor Kali Lam is undoubtedly a good news to the myopic population. It is uh, known for a long time that the eye growth is uh, regulated by optical stimulus. Um, in early days in cheek uh, experiment, uh, when you use a minus lens and you put it in front of the cheek eye, and it uh, becomes myopic, which is in fact a bigger eye. And if you um, put a plus 10 plus adapter lens in front of the eye, it will become my hyperopic, which is in fact a small eye. Now, in terms of um, refractive errors research that we, are, we have been doing, the goal is to maintain an, a refractive error free eye, which is a normal eye. So, uh, based on this uh, scientific finding, we are thinking about that. Well, if a minus lens can uh, accelerate eye growth, whereas a uh, plus lens can retard eye growth, what if we combine the two powers together? Would that give you a refractive error free eye? So that's exactly what we have done. And we combine the plus and minus power together into a single lens. And then we put it in front of the cheek eye. And surprisingly, the results came out that the eye is capable of integrating the two power. And it grows at a stage that it's in between the two powers. So we thought, well, that's very exciting. And, and then we move on to a human study and see, well, it, if exactly the same mechanism happened in human, then we will be able to use this combination of power to control eye growth. The results of recent clinical control trial by PolyU, the first of its kind in the world, has shown that this lens effectively slowed down myopia progression. Based on the promising results of our animal work, we use this principle to design a soft contact lens. We call this the defocus incorporated soft lens and in short term it is the disc lens. With this lens we conducted a clinical trial for children that are aged 8 to 13 years old. At the end of the two years clinical trial we have recruited around 80 children. Half of them were wearing the single vision normal contact lens and the other half were wearing our disc lens. We found that at the end of the two years those that are wearing the disc lens had a much slower myopia progression and in fact the uh, progression rate was reduced by 50%. Since the disc lens takes advantage of the natural homeostasis of the eye, wearers can avoid adverse effects from drug or surgery. Moreover, the functional element, optical defocus, can be incorporated into widely accepted forms of contact lens to provide clear and comfortable vision while myopia is being controlled. It opens up new opportunities for treating other refractive errors, such as hyperopia using suitable defocus. This invention is highly relevant to many Asian countries and regions with high myopia prevalence, including Hong Kong, Singapore, Taiwan, and the Chinese mainland. We would like to thank the Research Grant Council and the PolyU Niche Fund in supporting this clinical trial. As this is the first trial, we are expecting there will be room for improvement. As the clinical study was really um, the proof of principle that myopic defocus in, can indeed retard the growth of the eye or myopia, there are a, a lot of room for improvement in terms of changing the parameters. For example, we need to know um, what is the optimal myopic defocus that can stop myopic growth or which part of the retina is more susceptible for the myopic uh, defocus to work. And there are there are numerous combinations that we can work on and we need to do more clinical trial to, to find out exactly what happened. We are hoping to expand this clinical studies into a multi-center study. And in doing that, we will be able to fine-tune the different parameters and try to find out the optimal design uh, with this lens. And we're hoping that this lens can be commercialized in the very near future and benefit more children. And of course it would be great um, if we can retard myopia. 
But I think it will, it will be very exciting if we can produce a lens that actually reverse myopia or stop myopia altogether. And best of all, if we can design a lens that can prevent myopia from, from developing, and that will really be the ultimate goal of the myopia research. This new technology has already been patented in Australia, the Chinese mainland, the US and various European countries. Hopefully, this lens will be introduced to the market very soon.